Oh, y'all caught me. That gone. Hold on a sec. Damn, I ain't nothing like a good old strawberry, man. Tell you what. Mm -mm -mm. Hold on again. Yep. Flavor art, juicy strawberry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a little bit of sour tartness. Mm -hmm. Some sugar in there. Yep. Yep, that's what's in here. Yep, sure enough. How y'all doing out there? <laughs> Hell yeah, man. Hope everybody's doing good and having a wonderful, beautiful day. Uh, I want to, this is like episode one of, you know, creating a recipe for the beginner, for the new mixer out there. Uh, and the number one really recipe is a strawberry cheesecake. There's so many damn strawberry cheesecake out there that, I mean, there's thousands, hundreds of thousands of probably strawberry, different variations, different strawberries. There's so many damn strawberry flavorings out there. It's like, they're gone, man. Where in the hell do I start, you know? <laughs> and it can be, if you're a new mixer, it's like, they're gone. I, I'm just lost. I, I'm about to give up, man. I just can't deal with it. I swear I had three bottles down here. Now I only see, I mean, four bottles. I only see three now. Let's see. There's version two. Where's version three? There it is, version three. Okay. All right. So I broke it down to this recipe. Everybody should have these ingredients in their arsenal. Every single flavoring that I'm fixing to talk about, okay? Strawberry cheesecake, keeping it simple. Well, it's hard sometimes to keep a strawberry cheesecake a simple recipe. I mean, there's some strawberry cheesecake recipes out there. It's got 10, 15 different damn flavorings in it. Hell, one of my favorite mixes I made myself has 11, or 12 ingredients in it. That's my through the rabbit hole version 3.1. That's a kick ass strawberry cheesecake. That's one of my all day bakes. Well, got to simplify it, man. These new mixers don't have all the ingredients to put in that recipe, so they're trying to sub it out. Well, strawberry, okay? The best strawberry on the market, in my opinion right now, is shisha strawberry from anywhere. Shisha strawberry. You need that one in your arsenal. It's a fresh, ripe uh, strawberry. It's not candy. If you push it high enough, it can become a little medicinal and harsh. It's a very potent flavor. And that strawberry hangs around. It doesn't fade like a lot of the other strawberries do. The second strawberry that needs to be in your arsenal, and everybody should have this, I'm serious. Sweet strawberry. If it'll focus. You stupid camera. <laughs> Sweet strawberry. Anyway, let me cut this off. Maybe that'll help. Yeah, there you go, sweet strawberry. Capella, this strawberry is artificial. It's an artificial candy type strawberry. Uh, it's a little creamier in a way, if that makes sense. Uh, very versatile strawberry, but it fades, okay? So in a recipe, you have to put like four or 5% of this sweet strawberry in there because in two weeks, it's gonna be done faded out to where you can't almost taste it depending on what you pair it with, okay? Now, <clears throat> the good two things that are about these two flavorings, these two strawberries, anywhere, shisha and sweet strawberry is, you can make three different types of strawberries with just these two strawberries. 
If you use shisha strawberry all by itself, you got a nice refreshing all day strawberry vape. Now I know there's a lot of people out there that can't taste strawberry, they say, and there's most of us can taste strawberry. And dang so smell it. Good aroma too. When you're vaping this, people smell this strawberry. Now, if you blend the all right, now that's your right, fresh, authentic strawberry. If you want the candy strawberry, you get the sweet strawberry from Capella. Now if you add both of these together and mix them together, guess what you get? You get that drizzle, like you can make it jammy tasting by mixing these two together, like a syrupy strawberry with a little bright note to it. But as they calm down and steep out, they blend together just really, really nice. So I'm using these two strawberries in, that, in this recipe. All right, cheesecakes. There's a lot of cheesecakes out there. I mean, a lot of cheesecake flavorings out there. There's some good ones, don't get me wrong. Cheesecake, graham crust. I mean, the, 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 there's so many anyway. The best two to have in your arsenal is Yes We Cheesecake from Inuera. Bam. <laughs> it ain't working. There it is, Yes with Cheesecake from anywhere. Up. That is my favorite cheesecake to date. It is freaking awesome. I've been using it for over a year now. Love this. This is in my best blueberry cheesecake ever recipe. That's on VSO flavoring, as a matter of fact. The other cheesecake that you're gonna need, you're gonna need this one right here, folks. If I can get focused. New York cheesecake, Capella. You're gonna need it. Yep, you're gonna need it. A lot of people use it in the recipes. You mix these two cheesecakes together, you get a really, really nice cheesecake. Awesome. So I'm using two cheesecakes in this recipe. All right, graham cracker crust. All right, there's a bunch of, there's a few of them out there. To get the graham cracker flavor, you can go cheesecake graham crust, which has the graham cracker note in it. You can go graham cracker clear from the Flavor Apprentice. Uh, cheesecake graham crust is from the Flavor Apprentice and graham cracker clear is from the Flavor Apprentice. But graham cracker clear is just the graham cracker note and it's got a little graininess to it. All right, it's got a little acetylparacine in it. Uh, Cheesecake graham crust has a slight graham cracker flavor to it, but it has a little bit of cheesecake creaminess to it as well. So you're actually knocking two birds with one stone now, you know? My favorite graham cracker now is this one. Graham cracker from Flavor. If it will focus. There it is. Graham cracker from Flavor. I love this graham cracker. It tastes like a honey made graham cracker. Really, really nice, smooth, creamy. It's awesome graham cracker. So I'm using that graham cracker in this recipe today. And Bavarian cream for this strawberry cheesecake. The Bavarian cream. If it will focus, bam, there it is. <laughs> All right, Bavarian cream. We're using this as what's called a blender or an emulsifier to help meld these flavorings together so it calms down any harsh notes and stuff. Now, I'm gonna share screen because I'm recording this on uh, Zoom so I can share screen and show you how I came up with this recipe. And I tried everything and I tried to simplify it. So I'm just gonna share screen here and show you where I started out, you know, recipe development, how you come up with your own cheesecake. You can use any strawberries you want. It doesn't matter. You know what I mean, Barb? Okay. All right, here we go. 
first off, the first recipe I did is a uh, strawberry cheesecake. Okay, but I used right here, if you look, I used strawberry ripe from Perillion and sweet strawberry from Perillion. I kept everything else, the yes sweet cheesecake, the graham cracker. I had cheesecake graham crust in this to calm the harshness down from these two strawberries and the Bavarian cream to also help blend everything together and calm those strawberries down. The Perillium strawberries aren't bad at all. Don't get me wrong, they're not bad, but it's just not what I was actually looking for in my recipe. Now, hold on, I got a package. Hold on, that gone. Let me go see this package here. Uh, don't you love it when you get a package from Bull City Flavors? So no, so no, got me some new flavors. Sorry about that. That gone, man. All right, let's scratch that recipe. I'm gonna go to this one. All right, let's see here. Wait a minute, what was that one? Strawberry cheesecake. Strawberry cheesecake, simple. Okay. Uh, Bavarian cream. I kept it in there, one percent. I added custard. I took out the cheesecake graham crack uh, crust and put custard in it. Graham cracker from Flavor, shisha strawberry, sweet strawberry, sweet. I added a little sweetener in this, and all the rest of them I didn't. I took the sweetener totally out. And yes, with cheesecake. So I mixed it up. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. But it seems like there's something is muting the flavors something's muting it it it's holding it back if you know it there, there's just too much there all right so then i said okay well let me cut back on all the creams then so if you notice over here i cut everything back to a half a percent instead of one percent you see what i'm talking about left everything else the same so I cut all the Bavarian cream in half, the custard in half, the graham cracker clear. I used graham cracker clear in the version two, uh, just to see, you know, what the difference was, you know, between the graham cracker from Flavor and graham cracker clear from TPA, you know? Now, this isn't bad either. N now, none of these recipes that I'm showing you are bad at all. Now, they're going to need steep, though. Every single one of them going to need at least a week steep. So don't think you can shake and bake, you know, your, your cheesecakes, your strawberries and everything, your graham cracker. They got to blend together. You got to give them at least a week, at least seven days. Now, this is, I just mixed them up. So the strawberry is really, really prominent now in this. Oh, you notice I used a uh, strawberry from TPA in it instead of the shisha strawberry. You can taste the strawberry, but it's not that prominent. See, I was looking to get a jammy note and use a different strawberry. Well, that combination didn't work. Strawberry from TPA and sweet strawberry capella it wasn't the right strawberry I'm looking for. Right. Get away from there. 
Okay. Version three, I didn't mix it up. <laughs> but it's a good solid recipe on paper. You see this? Half percent of a variant cream, a quarter percent of meringue. Now, meringue can make or break your cheesecake. Meringue is used to calm things down, fill in the gaps, fluff it up. Uh, it's a good additive, in my opinion. But you got to use it sparingly. If you go overboard, it's just going to mute everything. So you got to keep it at a lower percentage on a cheesecake. I used red touch strawberry on version three with sweet strawberry. Went old school. You see that? And the yes, we cheesecake at three percent. Now I can look at that, and I've mixed that up pretty close to the same general idea of that. And you notice it only has six ingredients on here, and it turned out pretty good. Now here's the one I mixed up version four to make it simple for everybody. And also, it depends on what uh, device you're vaping it on as well. And if you're a new mixer, it's good to get these cheap suckers right here. This is the Entheon Fast Tech 1099 or something like that. The Hadley Fast Tech 1099 or whatever, you know? So you can't go wrong. Good flavor. But every device is going to make your cheesecake taste different. Every single one is going to taste different. These little ones right here give you the high notes, everything. Ooh, that one tastes real good. Version four. Show sure enough, man. That gone. Now let me taste it in the, the C4. Mm, now I'm getting the, the richness of it. On this RDA, it's giving you the strawberries, that real rich cheesecake. Oh yeah, I can taste the graham cracker in it. Man, version four is a really, really nice recipe. So whenever y'all see this, <clears throat> all these recipes will be public. I know it's a lot, but you can see, you know, how you can do your recipe development. You can change things around, you know, do everybody's tastes are different. So mix it up the way that you like it. You know what I mean? And I hope y'all enjoyed that. In the meantime, y'all have a good one, man. Peace, love, and harmony. Later, y'all. See y'all on the next video. <laughs>